Well, let's uh, talk more on this with former MI5 agent Annie Mashon. Annie, look, what's all the fuss about? Surely close allies should be working closely together. Well, absolutely, and they have for decades. One thing that people tend to forget is there is an old program of mutual assistance, which was called Echelon, which was exposed in the 1980s and then fed into the European Parliament in the 1990s, which led to a report that said that Europe should develop its own standalone internet infrastructure, not depend on the US infrastructure. Of course, this came out just before 9-11 and was lost in the sort of security panic that happened afterwards. So this sort of assistance has been going on for decades. Let's have no doubt about that. And it's also been a very good way for the NSA and GCHQ to circumvent domestic um, laws and domestic warranty requirements so they could spy on each other and then feed each other the same the information they needed back without having to go through the courts. So it's always been quite a corrupt relationship. However, I think these revelations that came out in The Guardian today take it to a whole new level. We are now looking at GCHQ effectively prostituting itself to the NSA. They are saying, we can get around some of your laws, we can help you, we will go to the nth degree to help you, um, give us your money. But uh, why? Because you said earlier that both are mutually benefiting each other because they're not uh, perhaps curtailed by domestic uh, legalities. And yet, uh, at the same time, there is some talk of the UK doing the US's dirty work for it. But, but surely both are helping each other here. Well, the uh, GCHQ has always benefited more from the relationship because, of course, the NSA coverage was far wider and they are desperate to keep that toehold of influence with the Americans. And that's why I think we're seeing these quotes coming out saying that they, will, um, they need to be seen to be doing everything they can to help the Americans. So that is a problem and it certainly so shows the um, asymmetric relationship between the two agencies. We have become effectively in the UK a field office in intelligence for the US intelligence infrastructure. And it's sort of ironic because at the moment I'm in the Netherlands at um, a hacker festival called OHM 2013. And I'm here doing a lot of talks about whistleblowing and surveillance and Big Brother states with a number of other key whistleblowers from the US as well. And this is a, a common theme that comes up. And we have just agreed to award um, Edward Snowden something called the Sam Adams Award for Integrity and Intelligence. So I think the fact that he has gone public with all this stuff, the fact that he is showing the, the growing and endemic corruption between um, the US and the UK intelligence agencies needs recognition, and we hope to be able to give that to him soon. But has he achieved anything apart from winning that particular award you just mentioned? <laughs> has he really achieved anything, Annie? Because, quite frankly, it's all going to carry on. Even US Congress has said surveillance will continue. So nothing's going to change, isn't it, just briefly? Well, unfortunately, um, it's unlikely, but I think he is the most significant modern whistleblower, even greater than Daniel Ellsberg, because he has shown that we are all globally under surveillance. We are moving rapidly into a dystopic Big Brother surveillance society. And um, it's not just the Americans, all of us are subject to that. He's done the world's population a huge service, and I hope the world's population will do him a huge service by supporting him and fighting for him. Former MI5 agent Annie Mash on Live on RT. Thanks so much for your thoughts.